famous Dex, he said he basically like clapped back at you in his say cheese interview, and he said that you're almost fifty and uh, you're a goofy, and that you know he he said that. Uh, or yeah, because he was pissed off about you saying that he left everybody for dead. Which is the truth. Truth hurt. Right. The truth hurt. Once you man up and just a Mitchell fucking wrongs. Mm-hmm. A Mitchell wrongs. Fifty years old. I ain't nowhere near fifty. I'm still young, man. I'm older, but I'm still young. Don't you know people make it to a hundred and some years old? Maybe I might be one of them people. You never know. I'm still at the beginning of my life. Say I was stuck in Chicago. I ain't lived in Chicago in five years. Mm-hmm. Fuck is you talking about? You did all that. He's broke. He don't have nothing. He don't have. You lost your YouTube channel. You everything. Why? Cause God don't like ugly. You a fucking goofy. You ain't even got no bottom teeth. <laughs> you like an old grandma. Hey baby. Hey sugar. Nigga. <laughs> Where's your teeth at? Did he try to do the interview and hide it? With a mask on. Where's uh, your teeth? His ass smoked meth. What else make your teeth lead like that? You really think that's why he lost his teeth? Famous meth head like my song, man. Oh I my swear God. to God. What else? Ain't nobody punch his teeth out. He still got two hanging right here. That motherfucker ain't gonna punch over there and punch over here. No, that ain't what happened. He's smoking that famous meth. <laughs> famous rats and famous meth. So you don't got no faith in this comeback? He went on that motherfucker like he signed for hella money. I just watched his YouTube. He got a new YouTube channel. Oh, yeah? He ain't putting up no numbers no more. Really? Nobody want to see that booty shaking ass shit. But when he was doing really good, it was mostly on World Star and other random channels. A lot of channels. people that, a lot of people that was doing numbers on these other platforms, mm. they ain't build their own brand. Yeah, they ain't build their own brand. When you you clouded on these other people's shit, but you didn't, you so fucking dumb, you didn't realize to. I had my own shit before I was on anybody else shit. My pops too, told me already. My, my my pops made my YouTube channel. I didn't know nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? My pops did it, but look, there's a lot of people. I just saw, uh, I just, man, I just, Rico Reckless, all the numbers he was doing on World Star. I just saw a video on his page where he not even dissing, even though he did all that shit, you know what I'm saying? And the, the numbers was so low, Adam, mm-hmm. I shared it with my YouTube channel. His shit went from down there up. It wasn't, you know, the most, but it was a boost that I gave him because I saw it. I was like, damn. But why? Because a lot of these people only big on other people's platforms. Mm-hmm. Without these platforms, what are you? That's like you living in your your homie's shadow. A lot of these niggas clouded because they homies got big names. Your homie died or something and you don't get that clout. What you going to do? It's over with for you. You have to build your own shit. I'm not going to be around sitting around no man and depending on no man, I can't do that. What I'm do you think, sure. if I'm interviewing Dex next week, which I've had him scheduled maybe like three times that he hasn't shown He ain't going to show because he on meth. <sighs> you think he going to come when he high on meth? I mean, it's a Monday morning, so hopefully. He's smoking meth early <laughs> su- Sunday night, <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter! <laughs> he ain't got no, and you know what's crazy, bro, like, and a lot of this shit, bro, I don't take serious. Like, I don't wish no, no death or nothing bad on them. Mm-hmm. But when you when you that type of person, look at me, bro. Nigga might say, yeah, King Yellow, weakest rapper from Chicago. Woody Woo. Guess what? I'm doing better than the average nigga that was, had a lot of fame in Chicago, though. Mm. They ass is broke and disgusted somewhere. I'm living better than a lot of these guys. Also, like legally, com- coming from your era of Chicago, even just you being alive is you're there's fucking nobody lucky. here. <laughs> yeah, it's all bad. my homies are dead, literally, literally. Yeah, all my home ain't nobody left. Ruga, me, Lil J, he in jail. Right, billionaire black, he doing this thing. Um, 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 young Dutchie. You know what I'm saying? Long live cash. Mm. But, like, ain't no my Rico Reckless still alive. Yep. Like, he come from that. Like he come from the JoJo shit, even though he switched it up and did what he did. But he come from that era. Long live little mister. He come from that. They from the same block, all that shit. Mm. But it was a big-ass BDK movie where everybody was on that BDK shit. BDK, BDK. This was real. It was a real. We had Antum. The name, the people I just named is really what's left. P. Rico. Um, Swag De Niro. That's JoJo, brother. Uh, literally, I don't, you know, 
I ain't ain't too many people here no more, bro. Mm. Them people that I thugged it with and was in the trenches with, bro, I really like, I just did this shit on live yesterday, bro. Motherfucker really be getting that. Damn, bro. Everybody gone. And that's why it's crazy to see somebody like Tay Savage coming out and having a little wave right now because he was in prison for like eight years or ten years or some shit. So it's like he's from this old era of Chicago where almost nobody is still around from that era. So it's almost like he's a fucking ghost coming back to earth. It is. It, it's, it's now wild. it's like who you went to it with? Them niggas is yeah. dead. And the new niggas from over there, they was kids from right. ten years ago. He was ten, he twenty. I don't even know you, kid. I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, man, this, this is crazy, man. Yeah, at a certain point, you got to just be thankful as fuck to be alive. I feel like that, honestly, like, not the thing about being alive, but even to still have a career and to have a channel that's still doing well and shit, it's like when I even rewind the clock six, seven years and look at what happened to a lot of my peers, some people might look at my shit and be like, oh, your shit ain't as cool as it used to be. Yeah, all right, whatever. It still <laughs> exists. I'm still making good money and, like, when I look back six, seven years ago, the rappers I was around all broke. Yeah. The fucking people who were doing media, doing interviews, whatever, all, all fell, fell off. off. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> so it's like, you might not like the direction that my shit has necessarily gone, whatever, but like, bro, the fact that I'm even still able to make a living is kind of shocking to me all sometimes. All these years later, that's what they don't understand. Yeah. Do you understand it's like a race? Whoever get there and, and stay there, mm -hmm. you won. I'm a motherfucker can't say you won. The platforms you started with, World Star, World Star, I'm not doing shit no more like that, bro. Mm. I looked at people's shit and I'm like, bro, no, you got a couple people. I saw when I dropped Famous Rats on there, I did, my shit did hella numbers. It did the crazy part on, on their website, that motherfucker got like seven, eight million. Mm. But I don't know if they got a machine doing that. That was always the rumor. I used to see <laughs> videos of people just like, Using a bot to just refresh the page ten thousand yeah. times, and all of a sudden the video would have ten thousand new yeah. views. But then on the on the YouTube, it got like four hundred thousand. It got stuck. It didn't mm. move and nothing. Just stayed there. It was kind of. It's like what mm. the fuck. Then I see Ice Spice dropped the video. Maybe her shit was real on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be careful too with these labels behind shit. They put the machine behind a lot of shit too. They go, Right. And it's gonna automatically do that shit. But hey, speaking of King uh of Rico Reckless though, he said that he doesn't hang out with you anymore because you got him pulled over for blasting music and screaming or some shit. Is that true? Uh, he was just making a video of talking, man. He's supposed to get dropped off. I was dropping him off before his PO came or he had curfew or whatever. But anybody know me, this is me. I ain't know what the fuck? I don't care mm -hmm. how you feel. Nigga, you call me a goofy, say what you want. I bet you ain't, you ain't never heard none of these motherfuckers say, I beat your ass, I robbed them, I did this. You never heard that. If I'm so much of a goofy, why ain't nobody did nothing? Mm. You tell me, you you talking or you saying anything, ain't nobody did nothing, nothing to me. I done been around the worst of the worst, nobody. Nigga can say what they want to say. You ain't stop it, man. I been having motion. Why am I the one dropping you off? That mm. lets you know something, right? I'm obviously sliding off. I'm doing this already. But- he was just talking, man. He ain't, man. He's not, uh, man. Just talking, man. You think uh, you and Rico Reckless ever be able to be cool again? We done chopped it up, man. That's why we chopped it up. Like, he said, like, call me. Like, we said, like, I'm really at the point with this in my life. Like, I, everybody dead and gone, bro. Like, if it ain't worth it, it ain't worth it. Motherfucker ain't, I ain't saying we're going to be best friends or. I don't want to see nothing happen to him. You know, he did what he did and doing all that. Long live Duck. He doing all that. But Duck was on his ass too, though. So we can't, you know, like a lot of people don't know what's going on. Long live my brother, but he sent me the shit that Duck was on his ass. You know what I'm saying? So even though he did, but Reckless was just clout chasing, man. The career ain't doing what it's doing. He trying to figure out a way to get some buzz, and that shit still ain't helping. You know what I'm saying? That's really like a slap in the face. You ain't even, it ain't, you know what I'm saying? You waited five years to respond to some shit that was in your inbox. It's crazy, but I ain't finna, you know, I ain't I ain't best friends or nothing, but it's, you know, it's cool. I ain't finna be like, man, I hope somebody, it is what it is. I'm living my life.